Imagine if you had a conversation with a boxer, a guy who was about to have the fight of his career. Imagine the fight was going to start in a couple of hours, and suppose you asked him what his strategy was. What do you imagine he might say? I suppose that would depend on the other fighter in this particular metaphor, and it would depend on the main fighter of this metaphor. We can assume the fighting style of the hero of this metaphor. We can assume the fighting style of the opponent. That might give us a better imagination of how he might answer that question. But even then, it would only be a general strategy. If you asked him what particular punches he planned on throwing, and in what particular order, he would look at you funny. Clearly, all that would depend on what the other fighter was doing. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Lorenz. He came up with a mind experiment to help predict weather patterns. A beaker of water with four variables, only four, but each variable was dependent upon the other three. You change one variable and you change the other three. But each time you changed any of the other three, you would change the other other three. They found that by changing any starting condition very slightly, the conditions a couple minutes out would be extremely different. This is the foundation of chaos theory. Even though they know the starting conditions, even though they know the chemistry and the physics, they still cannot predict complex systems very far out. Now imagine two people standing across a room from each other, flirting with one another, eye contact, smiling, open posture. But the guy never walks over and starts the conversation. The excuse he gives himself is very, very common. I don't know what to say. But this is also a complete and absolute myth. This would be like a boxer being afraid to fight because he doesn't know what punches to throw. But since the guy in this metaphor is a human and he has plenty of experience speaking to other humans, that means he has experience knowing what to say in unknown unfolding situations. In reality, the excuse, I don't know what to say, is a self-defensive self-deception to avoid social exposure, to avoid rejection. Two very painful things. But that's by looking only at the surface of worrying about what they might say and then worrying about what you might say in response. When you focus on the deeper instincts, it's much easier because deeper instincts are much easier to lead, to leverage, making all communication and persuasion very easy. Go to the link on your screen to find out how.